everyone and welcome to another Worksheet Cloud Grade 2 English lesson with me, Mrs. Greenwood. It's really nice to be with you again and I hope you enjoy today's lesson. If you have any questions, please ask Mom or Dad to send an email to grade2 at worksheetcloud.com. Right, let's begin our lesson. It's always important to start with a little bit of revision. That's right, and who can remember which double sounds we dealt with last time? Who can remember? Quite correct, we had a double L. We also had the double S. And remember I said sometimes if you just say the word and you emphasize it a little bit more, you're going to remember how to spell it. There was the double f at the end. And zzz. That's right. That's the one that makes your tongue tickle. So, let's go through a few of the words. And please do it with me. And sound it out with me as we go along. We sound it out and then we say the word. Are you ready? All fall. And let's emphasize the last sound. Just so that we remember that it's a double sound. Let's try that one again. All fall. To all tall. Sm all small. Well well. Sell sell. Fell fell. Oh, fool. Pa oh, pull. There you see Piglet's going to pull the weed out. Less, less. This one has less in it. Dress, dress. You've got to remember, dress has got two s at the end. Pass, pass. Puff, puff. Stiff, stiff. Fuzz, fuzz. Remember, that's got to make your tongue tickle a little bit. Buzz, buzz. How many z in buzz? Two. F is. Fizz, jazz, jazz, like jazz music. Today, we're going to start with some new sounds. These are words that end in an O sound. And it's just going to be one R. And we're not going to say R, but we're going to say O at the end of these words. So we're going to practice how to do this O. And we're going to start at 2 o'clock, and then we're going to go round, and we're going to close it up nicely. Are you ready? You can do it in the air with me. Starting with your finger at 2 o'clock, and let's go round, and we close it perfectly, so that your teacher can't even see where it was joined. It's got to be so perfect when you do an O. Let's see if you can read these O words. And we're just going to read the one that's highlighted. Are you ready? Let's go. N O No. A go. A go. Like long time ago. Next one. G O Go. Well done. And the last one. So, so. Let's look at these words. This one is no. This one, so. A go and go. They have just got an R at the end and that R says the word O. Oh. Let's sound out and read the words. I'm sure you're going to find them very easy. So, 
So, remember these words have got an O sound at the end. N O No. That means I don't want to do it. No. G O Go. And A Go Ago. Long time ago. There was a prince and a princess. So those were our O words. Sometimes the O or the R is also at the end of a word, but it says an O sound. This R can say so many different sounds. It's going to say the O sound. But let's practice doing the R again, starting at 2 o'clock. Are you ready? There we go, 2 o'clock round. Oh, and we close it perfectly so that our teacher can't even see we are joined up. Well done. Let's see, can you read these words? So remember, I said these ones are going to end also with an R, but they say the OO sound. The first one, da oo do. Now you've got to remember very carefully that this only has one R in do. Ta Ooh, two. Let's go to the shop. It's that two. Let's go to the shop. Just to R. Next one. What? Ooh, woo. Who is that over there? It's a question word. Who? And the last one is the two. The number two. So these all ended in one R, not the normal double O, not the R, R. These just ended in one R. So remember, sometimes it says the O, not so, and no, and go, and ago. And here, the R at the end is just saying the O sound in two, and the number two, do. And who? Let's see if we can sound out and read the words now. T oo. Remember, we didn't. It's the oo sound at the end. T oo two. D oo do. What oo who? It's the number two. Now these words end in the old word okay we said these are the old words because they all have the word old in them and you know when you're old oh you can't do anything you're so old um let's practice writing these the r is the same as we've been practicing the l is going to start at the top and come down and the d starts at two o'clock it goes around all the way up and down are you ready to practice in the air? Here we go. So the R round and close it beautifully. The L is going to come down. Well done for remembering. And the D is going to start at two o'clock and it's going to go round and then all the way up and down. Very good. So these are the old words. And remember I said it's sometimes fun to make up silly stories so that you remember which sounds go in which words. Let's see if you can read these words. The old bold. Someone's bold. They're very brave. To old told. That's also got the word old in it. Can you see bold had the word old in it? And told has got the word old in it. Next one. Old fold. You fold a piece of paper. G old gold. Yes, moms love having pieces of gold or a gold necklace or a gold ring. That's the best. S old sold. 
old, cold, ooh, shivering and cold. Her old, hold, we hold someone's hand. Now, let's sound out and read the words. G old, gold. Now, let's think of a sentence to help us to remember that gold has got the old word in it. Hmm. What about the old man gave my mum a bar of gold? <gasps> Wouldn't your mum be happy? So the old man gave my mum a bar of gold. So in the word gold is the word old. Let's look at the next one. Cold. Let's think of a word with old. The old lady was very cold as she was standing outside in the snow. So the old lady was very cold as she stood outside in the snow. Poor old lady. So remember that the word cold has got the word old in it as well. Hold. Let's think. The old lady wanted to hold the new baby. Old, the old lady wanted to hold the new baby. Um, that's probably the mummy and not the old lady because she doesn't look very old. So you can picture in your minds an old lady sitting on a, on a chair holding the little beautiful baby. S old sold. The old man ha sold his old house. So there we had two olds in it. The old man sold his old house. And every time you think of the word sold, you've got to think of that old man who sold his house. And when you think of the word hold, you think of the old lady who wanted to hold the baby. And if you think of the word gold, remember the old man gave mom a bar of gold. That's right, we make silly sentences to help us to remember. Told. Ah, uh, what could we think of here? The old lady told the little girls a funny story. Let's do that one. The old lady told the girls a funny story. So there we see the old lady. Picture it in your minds. The old lady who told the girls a story. Fold. Every day I like to fold the towels for the old lady across the street. So picture it in your mind. You like to fold the, the towels for the old lady who lives across the road. And bold means brave. Now, what sentence could we make with bold to help us to remember that the word old is also in bold. Maybe the old man was just like Superman and he was very bold. So can you picture in your mind the old man flying through the sky with his Superman stance? And <laughs> I think that would be very funny. Bold is brave. Right. Let's see how many O and old words you can find in the next story. I'm going to read it to you and then for the worksheet you're going to circle the O and old words in red please. And then mom or dad can have a look and perhaps they can mark it for you. Let's have a look at the story and I'm going to read it to you. Long ago they lived Two old ladies. Mm, I see three words there already. They lived in a cold place. 
called Ice Tom. One day, the old lady told her friend that she sold her gold so that she could visit her family. She travelled for a very long time, and when she eventually arrived, she was so excited just to hold her grandson. The old lady stayed with her family for a week. When the week was over, she told her family that she had to go. Her family said, No, please don't go. So children, here's the challenge. Look at the worksheet and see if you can find as many O and old words as possible. Now you heard when I read through it, I'm quite sure you, you heard quite a few of them. So let's see how many you can get right. Children, I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you for watching. Today's lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Cloud and by me, Mrs. Greenwood. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.